During the pandemic, they were defined as essential workers in New York City. Uh, tonight, 32 hours before these essential workers, more than 30,000 doormen, handymen and porters were about to walk off their jobs. A tentative agreement has been reached for a new contract. The workers crucial to the functioning of thousands of buildings in New York City and the half a million residents who live there. Bottom line, no strike. Here's Kimberly Richardson. We have a deal. Yeah. Calling it a fair and reasonable deal, strike averted. Tonight, the Realty Advisory Board announcing it has reached a tentative agreement with 32BJ, the union representing roughly 32,000 workers, including doormen, supers, porters, and handymen. After two years of our members being asked to give and sacrifice more of themselves than they've ever done before, they deserve more in return for their service, not less. Hundreds of thousands of people here in the city had been preparing a potential to-do list, things they hadn't thought about in more than three decades since the last strike in 1991. I'm going to have to carry a lot of packages if they if they go on strike. The new agreement includes a historically large wage increase, averaging 3% over four years, a one-time $3,000 bonus, health insurance remains as is, paid for by building and apartment owners. Today, is a continuation of the extraordinary partnership and further shows the industry's respect for our essential workers. Workers were cautiously optimistic things would work out. Not asking for a ton of money or anything. We're just saying, hey, recognize us because we have become and we now are the essential workers, frontliners. Who during the darkest days of the pandemic remained front and center. Something officials admit did play a factor during negotiations. They say the economic hardships created by COVID-19. And we're there to maintain the buildings clean and that's what we did for the two years while the city was on lockdown. These workers are so much a part of tenants' lives. They consider the buildings where they work second homes. I see them when they when they had children, when they grow and went to college and uh, got married. 